let's talk about oil oil tankers and uh what's happening in the stocks today so many of you or some of you have found my youtube channel in 2020 because i was talking about the tankers okay that that's when uh, the COVID came we were at home they couldn't shut off the uh, oil production and the extra oil production was going on the tankers the tankers were the hot trade everybody was talking about them and uh, and then uh, in the short term very short term the tankers did okay then they sold off and i i kept being bullish on the tankers right i kept being bullish on the tankers i made fun of people that were not bullish on the tankers and And like I was being told at that time that I'm wrong on the tankers. I was being attacked all the time on the tankers. I like I only blocked one guy on Twitter because he just wouldn't stop attacking me. Uh, and how did it turn out, right? When you have a long-term view, and I'm talking, I'm talking two years, right? Uh, I was 100% right on the tankers. Now, I'm not I'm not like looking for, you know, applaud applaud or anything like that. All I'm saying is that tanker trade, tanker investment was okay, right? Scorpio tankers was okay. And and the entire time I was being bullish on it because the fundamentals were bullish, the the net asset values were there you were getting more value than we, we were paying for, right? And yeah, 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 you can say that, you know, you know very well that I sold the tankers. Why? Because I wanted to buy Voxter, okay? So go ahead, tell me this. I know I wanted to buy Voxter and everything I owned at that time, every single share except tankers were restricted. Every single one was restricted through a private placement. So so even though I didn't want to sell the tankers, I wanted to buy Voxter so bad. And I don't regret that even today because I had a basket of tankers, not just Scorpio. I had also crude tankers. And so, so, so I would have made the same decision because I want Voxter so much more than the tankers. I made my move. And since then, I added to my Voxter and I continue to add anytime I can. So, but this doesn't change the fact that I continued to be bullish on the tankers, right? And so, even though, even though people said that I was wrong on the tankers, you wait long enough, now it completely turned around right and now what's in fr because everything is always it's always three inches in front of people's face whatever is on the news that's what people do okay and you know people followed the the tanker trade at that time because they saw copy do an exciting video three inches in front of their face what what, what was the three inches in front of their face well, the tanker rates were high, right? The tanker rates were high. Even even Copy came up with this term, days to earn market cap. Remember, because the, the, the tanker's rates were so high, everybody could see that they were high. So they wanted to be in the trade, right? And the trade was hot. And then, and then the tanker trades started to be bad, started to go down. And what was three inches in front of their face was the tanker rates are bad. The tanker trade is bad and you need to get out, la, 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 la. I mean, kind of just like what's three inches in front of people's face. Recession, interest rate, um, you know. I mean, you, you, you know the drill. Uh, it's the same thing, just different things in front of, in, in front of their face. So, so they, they didn't want to touch the tankers because the tanker rates were bad, right? Even though you were getting more value for what the ships were worth, 
even though it was clear that the, that the rates were going to turn around. It was clear. It was not a matter of if, it was a matter of when, right? They still didn't want to buy it. So, uh, so now, uh, what, what is positive about uh, things three inches in front of people's face? Oil. That oil, right? That's what's in, in, in people's faces. Energy, natural gas. That's what they want to own. Why? Because it's three inches in front of their face. So, and now, like for me, and you don't have to agree with this, why don't I want to be in oil? Well, number one, three inches in front of people's face. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's trying to convince me to be in oil. Okay, that's number one, why I don't want to be in it. But really, the main reason why I don't want to be in oil is because I hate it as much as I hate the miners. Okay, it's a commodity. Uh, I just hate it. I just hate those kinds of businesses, okay? Uh, I like good businesses, not bad businesses, okay? I don't like or I don't like commodity production businesses. I just don't like it. Again, feel free to disagree with me. I don't like it. For me, it's like uh, mining and oil. It's like one is AIDS and the other one is syphilis. I don't want I don't want neither one of them, okay? You keep you keep the AIDS and syphilis. I don't want part of it. So I don't care how great the news is, three inches in front of your face. I don't care. I just don't want to be involved in those kinds of businesses because I hate them. Simple. I don't care how cheap they are. I don't care how wonderful the news is that Putin is going to do this and it's going to send um, oil to 190 or 300 or whatever. I don't care. I don't want syphilis. I don't want those kinds of businesses. Keep them to yourselves. I want to focus on great businesses, okay? Uh, great platforms, great assets. That's what I want to focus on. That's my right to focus on it. So for me, again, two reasons. If it's three inches in front of people's face, the articles are positive, I am automatically not interested. Automatically. And then you add on the top of it that it's an awful business, I'm not interested. So, but anyway, I wanted to bring that up because the conversation that was about, you know, oil tankers during the time when everything in front of people's faces was negative, the rates were negative, the OPEC was not producing yet. All of this was, there was nothing positive about it. Uh, well, it turned out to be great because it was going to become positive. Okay. Now, Everything is negative. Like in my previous video, uh, everything is negative. You read all the news, everything is negative. Technicals are bad. Macro is bad. Whatever the Fed is doing is bad. Inflation is bad. Everything is bad. For me, that's fantastic. Because if everything is bad, that means I don't have any competition for the assets that are not three inches in front of, their fa in front of your face. Like I have a lot of competition right now for the oil and energy stocks because everybody can see you don't think i can read the news honestly I, the last time i checked i speak english you don't think i can see the news the great news about oil how everybody's piling into oil you don't think i can see that you don't think there's a lot of competition in there but even besides that i don't care because i don't want syphilis okay i don't want those businesses and i am not interested no matter how many articles I read that are positive, I am not interested. For two, again, for two reasons. Three inches in front of people's face, and I don't like syphilis, okay? Period. What I am interested is great businesses and great assets, and I am even more interested in them when everything in front of, three inches in front of people's face, everything is negative. I am interested because it keeps my competition away. Period.